So I've been thinking about what I was going to rate this game, as I think it definitely has the potential to be the best game of the year. Of course it has its other competitors like Jedi Survivor, which, let's be real here, it most likely won't end up beating. But in terms of what the game does and succeeds in, it's all the stuff that matters. The game sounds amazing and plays amazing, but unless you want blue aglo lights constantly at the rare bottom of your screen, I do suggest you keep motion blur on. Now just like Wulong, this game has its basic nags, like for example, and I personally always dislike this in video games. What the fuck? <laughs> The only time I actually do not mind something like that in the video game is when I'm playing a Crash video game. This actually does get pretty annoying at times, as there's a part where you gotta fight a SCP-96 looking thing, and the only way you can kill it is by shooting it, effectively in the process wasting all your ammunition and having to regain it all again. And the way I regained it was really fucking annoying. Because you don't just fight one of these creatures, you fight multiple of them. I personally ran into a problem where I literally had to keep letting the SCP-96 kill me and kill me time after time again because all of my ammunition would dip faster than ADP did when he was caught being a per- The combat is probably the game's strongest feature besides the story which is a really good story. The combat really does make me feel as if I'm John Wick but a superhuman type of John Wick because the physics of the game is absolutely- And to be honest with you I've probably never seen a game with better shooting physics maybe besides Red Dead Redemption 2. Just the satisfaction of shooting someone in the head and then the kneecap will actually never get old. Now where does Resident Evil 4 rank among my top 5? To be honest with you, it's probably somewhere closer to my top 6 to my top 5. Exactly. I've played quite a few games in my lifetime, and overall I still give the game a solid 9.2 out of 10, so it's still a really golden game. Let's not, get, let's not go anywhere else besides that. Yeah.